The purpose of my address to Congress tomorrow is to speak up about a potential deal with Iran that could threaten the survival of Israel. Iran is the foremost state sponsor of terrorism in the world. Iran envelops the entire world with its tentacles of terror. This is what Iran is doing now without nuclear weapons. Imagine what Iran would do with nuclear weapons. The days when the Jewish people are passive in the face of threats to annihilate us, those days are over. Now that was Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warning about the dangers of Iran. So why won't the administration, why won't they listen? Joining me now is Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert and Ambassador Nancy Sodenberg. She served as the Deputy National Security Advisor under the Clinton administration. Nancy, do you, a few yes or no questions. Is Iran, are they responsible? Are they, state, are they a state sponsor of terror? They are a state sponsor of terror, and they okay. are and a they, very serious and, foe, which is why we're trying to make sure they do not get a nuclear weapon. And they have funded groups like Hezbollah and other groups, and the five continents that the Prime Minister talked about today, that's an accurate statement, correct? Yeah, I mean, you deal mm -hmm. with your enemies. Uh, we talked to the Soviet Union while they were the evil empire. Got it. You've got in, you've right, got just, to I'm try just trying to lay facts deal with your enemies. So, and they have threatened repeatedly to wipe Israel off the map, correct? Well, let me, let me just get to um, facts. Your whole setup had very I'm many asking, errors I'm just trying it. to lay out facts. Um, they have threatened to wipe, repeatedly the, have threatened to wipe Iranian, Israel off the map. It's true the or Iranian false? Regime, the Iranian regime supports terror, Hamas, Hezbollah, and it is seeking a nuclear weapon. Right. The United States is trying to stop that through uh, every means that we question. can. So they have they, they, the Iranians have threatened repeatedly to wipe Israel off the map, right? Ahmadinejad, uh, no, well, the, the Supreme President Leader, all, not the Supreme Leader incidents. has done the same thing. So I, I can show you all the quotes. They've no one is Sean, no one is questioning okay. that Iran and, and is a threat. That's the, why we're having this conversation. And, and the Supreme Leader is anti-Semitic. You don't deny that either, right? This is a regime that has is he anti-Semitic? Very antagonistic to po uh, is he, they, he's anti-Semitic. Let, let's be honest. Let's lay on. Now here's Israel's position, and I'm trying to lay out the facts to get to this one question. We now read that this deal is coming out, and last Monday it was revealed that there is elements in this deal that the president accepted an Iranian demand about a sunset provision, that at the end of this deal, the Iranians, after all the sanctions are gone and all of the restrictions are gone, that they will be allowed to enrich uranium. We know they have a delivery system. So the question is, why would we ever do a deal with the Iranians that allows them to get nuclear weapons when their state sponsors are terror that have threatened repeatedly to wipe our friend and ally off the map. Why would we ever do that? We, we would not, and no one is suggesting we oh, would. Oh, yes, that was, in the, that, was the, that was the news last Monday. No, would you got to check your facts here. First of you, all, you got to let me educate you, because that was in every newspaper up, in the me, country last Monday. Let, your setup here is you're repeating, you're trying to make Obama's policy as different than the bipartisan policy that existed for decades. It, All of those policies are longstanding U.S. policy. No, what the that's administration not true. is trying to do what is prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. You they say are trying that, but to that's not what's going to happen. They, let me finish. Just let me say one sentence. They are trying to negotiate a, a deal that would prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. They've not taken force off the table. And should the efforts fail, then you're talking about force. But it is irresponsible not to try and negotiate. Right, let me go to like Louis Gomer. Give I, it time. And Louis, I know you understand the questions, and you would say yes to all of the things. <laughs> but yes, what, I would. But if this deal allows the, if this deal, <laughs> Louis, allows the Iranians to enrich uranium with the delivery system they have, is it yeah. not a risk of a modern-day holocaust that the mullahs that hate Israel would actually use it those is, weapons. Sean, it's more than a risk. It's a substantial risk. And, and I appreciate the bringing up that we want to concentrate on the facts. Well, how about the fact that we've got people that are negotiating with Iran who are the same people that said we have got to negotiate a deal with North Korea so they don't ever have du uh, nukes. That's our goal. And what do they do? They said basically, uh, we'll give you a nuclear power plant if you'll promise never to make them into nukes. And obviously now we have to worry about North Korea.
Korea and nukes. There's a difference, though. The, the North Koreans are not as, as suicidal as some of those that are behind the effort uh, no. uh, of uh, Iran. And Iran, another fact, uh, they were probably responsible for more Americans being killed. Uh, Iran was more responsible for more Americans being killed in Iraq than probably anybody else. They hate us. They hate Israel. And I can't imagine anybody not coming to hear Netanyahu speak tomorrow out of respect for the position. Heck, I come to the State of the Union. Uh, you came to the State of the Union. We didn't come because we want to... Uh, really engage no, and we can't. love what the president's going to read to us? No. We come out of respect for the right. office, and that's what the Democrats ought to be Nancy, doing tomorrow. Nancy, I have a last question. Let's say we know the president was wrong on Yemen. He was wrong on Somalia. He was wrong about saying Iraq is safe and secure in Afghanistan and Libya, and he was wrong on his Russian reset. So let's say he makes this deal and he's wrong here. What does that mean if the Iranians, who we even discovered during these talks, had nuclear facilities they never disclosed, that the president is wrong and they get nuclear weapons? What then, Nancy? What do you tell Israel then? Well, first well, of all, what? let me ask you, what is the option that you want right now? Do you want to bomb Israel? Do you want to try and have no. take negotiations? Bomb Israel? Israel. Israel. Well, what, no, I want to support Israel. What, what is the alternative the of the negotiations? Right? What is the, what, ask, answer the this options question. What are is the alternative? I'll tell you what the options are. Sanctions. We have sanctions. I never, we no, have sanctions. I, would keep, I would have kept the sanctions, number one. And number just, two. You number have two. sanctions have not kept, those sanctions did not if, keep them from a deal. The only thing that's if keeping they don't them listen from a nuclear weapon right now are the negotiations. International Atomic Energy agency, then unfortunately they're going to get bombed. Those facilities they, should be uh, destroyed. Sean, I, Sean, so that's your answer. The bomb IEA and take the That's right. Off. I wouldn't let the mullahs in Iran have nuclear weapons. You're damn right. No one would. Sean, the IEA the inspectors say their centrifuges are still spinning as you and I speak. They've gone on for days, weeks, and months, and the more this administration dawdles, they continue to enrich more and more uranium, leaving them very, very quick. You know, if you uh, want to get us into another, if you want to get us into another stop war, the with centrifuges. Iran, not even Israel, stop not the even Israel is saying that. Stop the centrifuges. We are, we are stop negotiating enrichment. to stop Period. them. Period. That's right. Oh, no. That's right. Don't let, yeah. don't no. let the modern That's day... That's in the first step don't. of good faith. Go. Here's, a, here's a very good stop. analogy that I, think is, that I think is often overused, and that is that they represent, with their anti-Semitism, modern day... They have said repeatedly they want a modern day Holocaust. No, they can't have nuclear weapons, and the world seems to be waking up to the dangers of that fact, including Jordan, including Egypt, and other Middle everyone Eastern knows, countries. So look, everyone I would knows say, that Iran stop is a them. threat. Stop them. That's right. what we're doing. The, the negotiations are well, well, Whatever means that necessary, Nancy. Then you're Holocaust. in a different scenario. And I think this is the this will go down in history as Obama being on the wrong side. He's the Neville Chamberlain of our time. Very scary. No, it's worse than that. I worse agree with that. that. I well, agree it's worse than that. You wait and see right. how the negotiations